which consists of knives and utensils plus some spices that I don't always have available to me when I go cooking at other places besides my own kitchen. It comes in handy because at times I'm looking for something that I need and I don't have it there, so this is a precaution I take. Culinary skills uh, basically have been self-taught. I did not go to culinary school, but at an early age I learned cooking from the family. And as the years went on, I worked in different restaurants. Uh, I worked back east, I'm from New York. I worked in Italian restaurants, I worked in steakhouses. I uh, did a lot of fancy kind of food. But here I am now in the Midwest, and come to find out that people out here really like more of the comfort type foods, such as chicken, fried chicken, uh, meatloaf, uh, beef, and, beef and noodles, stuff like that. So I'm trying to hone my skills on that line of cooking. Tonight's menu is chicken fried chicken, which is a boneless chicken breast, deep fried with uh, smashed pota red smashed potatoes, white gravy, and country style green beans with a biscuit. I don't have no problem. And it's been fried. Yeah. Or chicken fried. Chicken. Oh, they do chicken fried. I don't know. Hello, my name is Debbie, and I'm here to judge the first ever Iron Chef Jersey Bell. This contest is between Chef Gabe and Chef Al. They're both cooking a chicken dish, and we're not sure what it is, so we get to judge it on the originality, on plating, on taste, and performance. Hi, my name is Gary Whitman. I'm here for to judge the first Iron Chef of Georgiaville. My expectations are to have some good food and see what it's all about. My name is Fran and I'm here to judge the first Iron Chef of Jerseyville. Tonight we have Chef Dave versus Chef Al. I've had the pleasure of working with both of them at the 518 South and so I'm so interested to see what they're going to come up with for their dishes tonight. The surprise ingredient for Chef Gabe tonight is Ritz crackers. What? You said they're putting Ritz crackers in it? Oh my. Ritz crackers? What can you do with Ritz crackers? I was told there's going to be a surprise ingredient, so this is what they handed me, a box of Ritz crackers. What I'm going to do with that, I don't know yet, but we'll find some good use for it, that's for sure. 